Hey you, have you ever heard of the Brahmin brand of handbags and purses? Well, as it turns out, Brahmin is a best kept secret in luxury handbags. The secret is finally out. As it turns out, it's made in the USA, probably made in the state of Massachusetts. So, my uncle contacted me all the way from Macau, China, telling me to buy four Brahmin bags. What you see right here is the Brahmin Athena Nirvana Melbourne. By the way, all of these are genuine leather. Also, the Rose Leaf Collection Mini Asher Tote. And the Mini Asher. And lastly, the Mini Camilla. Welcome back to J-Roll Productions. So today is going to be a special video. I am going to unbox these four bags and also show you guys how much it will cost to ship it to Macau. All right, let's see what this one is. Looks like the bags come in this ramen carry bag. Very nice. Oh, this is the biggest of the bunch, guys. This is the Brahmin Athena Nirvana Melbourne, which costs $365. There you go. Genuine leather. You see the uh, skin kind of looks like a kind of like a crocodile or uh, kind of like a snake skin. The bottom has these uh, metallic pegs. It's a nice big size purse, a tote bag. You see the Brahmin logo right there, established 1992, I believe that says. There's no way it's 1892. <laughs> so if we open the inside, it looks like you have it also comes with this nice little, what you call this, like a wallet tote thing. Purse where you can store your um, ID, coins, billfold, credit cards, or whatnot. See the Brahman interior stitching. Very nice zippers, quality made. And we unveil the insides. There's also additional zipper pouch, the Brahman registration card. Found that is a genuine item, and I'm not sure what this is. Probably is just uh, extra uh, buttons, maybe. Very nice, large size. Look at that. See the interior. Brahmin logo inside, and it's smooth. Kind of has like velour touch to it. And let's not forget, there's also additional pocket right here. Smaller size pocket. They can store maybe uh, small snacks. Next up is from the Rose Leaf Collection. It's the Mini Asher Tote. Also comes with this nice Brahmin laundry bag, I guess. And this one um, has retailers for I got it from Amazon at $275, so it looks like probably like $330, $350, something like that. It's a smaller size bag. There you see the tan color with the brown. Similar design as the Nirvana Melbourne. It's kind of like a crocodile shape to it. A very small pocket right here. This is a smaller size bag that you can take. Uh, they can use any time, I would say. Not a big bag. So it doesn't, you can't really store much in here. It's a typical size, a uh, purse size. Again, a registration bag, card. Brahma logo right here. Interior zip. And you have this uh, <clears throat> additional uh, chain that you can hold on to other stuff, valuables. 
very nice. And there's like two pockets right here. I guess one pocket. Actually two. See? Yeah, I don't think you can store much in here, but it looks pretty cool. If you like the combination of the color, I like these tassels. It makes it stand out. Got a youthful look and appearance to it. Next up is the Mini Asher, which costs $285. Looks like it's a plastic bag that comes with a Brahmin logo. And here is Gemstone Melbourne Genuine. Similar in color, got an earthy tone to it. Again, the crocodile design skin. I guess it's known for their uh, brand. I guess it's, that's what their brand um, design is. All of the bags have these uh, metallic studs, kind of a gold color to it. Brahmin logo right there. Definitely stands out. And again, the tassel along with the Brahmin sail ship logo. Small pocket in the back right here. So if you open the inside, it should be pretty much the spot the same size as a rose leaf mini asher tote, probably. I believe this paper just keeps its form that doesn't get smashed during uh, shipping. There you see again with the interior pocket, registration card. All of them have a similar design inside. Smooth touch with the Brahmin logo, stitched and etched. Well, what do you know? Here is the Brahmin bag. So I guess all of them comes with it. This one's pretty cool. And lastly, we have the Brahmin Mini Camilla. Cheapest of the bunch, $269. I, as a man, I think this is the probably the uh, best looking one in my opinion. The black color really makes it stand out with kind of like that rattlesnake skin right there. So it's less show offy, you know, not too colorful. Got a Brahmin logo right there. Yeah, that it it kind of looks like real snake skin. See how that really stands out? It's really in detailed. So you have exterior pocket in here. Shows proof of purchase. Wow, this one retails for three fifty five, I guess. Oh, Dillard's. I thought Dillard's all went bankrupt. Hmm. This is the smallest of the bunch, so we we'll open the inside. You have this strap that you can use, and and of course the Brahmin carry bag. Now this one has a smaller interior pocket, and I noticed the stitching in the inside is a little bit different. The other ones were kind of like brown velour. This kind of have like a polyester feel to it. Slightly different interior design. Also additional pocket in here. Not bad. I think this is uh, probably like a everyday carry. Looks like there's also room for a pen that you can store. So it makes it pretty unique. I place each individual purse in a trash bag. So seal away any um, chance or opportunity it might get wet during shipping. And it fits perfectly in this box, which measures um, 18 and 7 eighths by 13 and 1 quarter by 11 and a half inches. And I'm going to put this on top of that. And I'm going to tape it up. And it's ready to be shipped to my cow. And of course, since we are shipping this internationally to Macau, we have to fill out this customs decoration form where you would just put where you're sending it, where is it from, what's inside. Fill out all of this information. And this form um, you will get from the uh, post office. See a detailed description of contents. Make sure you fill it out or it won't be shipped. Do you get a copy? You you get a copy and then they're going to put it right here when it's ready to be uh, shipped then they will tape it here now here comes the fun part you will not believe how much it would cost so I went to two different locations I did some googling 
As it turns out, USPS rates are always cheaper than UPS and FedEx. UPS and FedEx typically charge three to four times the price. And let me give you an example. Um, so this part for me to me putting all the tape on there weigh 9.26 pounds with all the tape, we'll just say 9.5 pounds, all right? So the quote they gave me, I went to the UPS without insurance. By the way, all four purses, I told them um, I want insurance of $1,300, $1,300. No insurance at UPS would cost $455, that's correct. With the insurance, which covers $1,300 of valuables, it would bring up to $493.63. I couldn't believe it. Even the lady standing next to me was shocked. So then I took it to USPS, which I know would offer a lower rate. Because I dealt with them for, for, uh, because I was mailing comics from an eBay store. Now at the USPS, no insurance would cost $90.95. Much more uh, easier to deal with. Now with the insurance of $1,300, it will cost $114.20 and it will take 6 to 10 days via mail. So I am going to take this to my local USPS tomorrow and mail it out. I assume I will pay probably $115, $116 because it weighs a little bit heavier now. I ended up paying a total of $135.65. I chose the Priority Mail Express International, which costs $114.05 for a package that weighs about 9 pounds 5 ounces. Additional insurance costs $21.60 that covers the amount of $1,194 as opposed to the $1,300, which I stated earlier. And that's a grand total. Going to Macau.